Hello guys, say hi. Hi. Today we are going to do one of the best kind of shopping in the world. This is nail art shopping. And many times you ask me like, why did I buy this? Can you please share a link? So sometimes I don't share the link, not because I don't want to, but because I buy it in this beautiful place. And today I'm going to show you. <laughs> This is how flowers get on the trees. They are here and it doesn't look very pretty outside, but inside there's the real nail heaven. This is one of my favorite shops, so they have this beautiful glitter gel, cat eye gels, and they have these beautiful designs displayed. Honestly, sometimes I get my ideas from here. And this is their new Lunar Brilliant gel paint. Gel paints and gel designs are very big now and oh, this is the fancy calculator. So here we have all kinds of stickers and they are usually worth about 30 to 50 US cents, so not expensive at all. Eyelashes and here we have nail magazines, those are pretty old, different kind of clippers, nail glove, stickers, foot files. This is Glitter Heaven. As you can see, they have all kinds of glitters, micas, accessories, polishes that sparkle. And oh my god, like I can spend the whole day here. Like in every single box, you can buy only one jar or you can buy it all. And here we have gel polishes, hollow and iridescent stickers, all kinds of them stickers again broken glass design and as much as i love nail art i also love shopping for this kind of stuff different containers and they have all kinds of colors of medical masks this is so cool and all shades of medical gloves that's so awesome i mean if you have salon with a specific color you can definitely find the one matching here they not only have like pink or purple you can also have like purple pearl pink pearl and if you like when everything is matchy matchy check out these nail files they have neon colors of nail files like every color and sponges as well pink yellow anything you want here we have nail drills prices are suspiciously cheap for the drill here we have packaging for autoclave and dry heat sterilization machines and again more colorful protection and tons of gels gel polishes gel paints files like all the supplies you need and they have special boots for different stickers only and of course the rhinestones it's not only about nails you can buy here everything all kinds of clothes shoes accessories jewelry all kinds of fake gucci's or money's and even they have the special booth there is like uh, shopping bags like if you cannot afford shopping at gucci you can at least buy a shopping bag and walk around the city like pretending you've been there we finished the shopping we bought pretty much different cool stuff and also we had lunch there and for some reason they didn't allow us for security purposes to record inside so I had to secretly do it for you so you can have this nail art whole Moscow experience so this uh, market it's like Chinese mostly and you can buy not only nails like everything cosmetics clothes shoes Imagine shoes, clothes, they're not very cheap, but nail stuff is definitely it's like the cheapest place you can find ever. And what's interesting, I compared the prices, so I saw nail art stickers at Taiwan trade show, and the price was 10 US dollars. So here for the same stickers, it was 50, no, yes, 50 cents, like 50 US cents. So that's like 20 times cheaper. If you plan to visit Moscow, visit not only Red Square and other places of interest, but also go to these 
beautiful nail heaven place. I will leave you the link with the name of it and have this beautiful shopping experience. This was my nail art shopping experience in Moscow. And let me know, guys, what do you think? How do you usually shop? Do you order things online? Or maybe you also have your favorite places where you usually shop, or maybe you buy everything during the trade shows. So what I usually do, I go here. And also when I need some specific things that I know, I order online. And also when I visit different trade shows in any place of the world, I always, always buy something because I'm like, oh, I've never seen anything like this. I'm not going to find it anywhere. And then I buy it and then and I go here and I always, like 99% of the cases, I find exactly the same things 10, 20 times cheaper. And yes, that's how I usually shop. So this is part of the products that I bought on this nail art shopping and I spent so much money and this is all I have. Well, let me show you a closer look on my shopping items. Currently I'm working on a project. I'm testing different kind of hybrid acrylic gels, like polygel. So I bought a couple um, other brands. So they're both from China and this brand Vogue Nails is relatively popular here in Russia as well as this one, Gelactic. I was just curious how would they feel like because I already tried one Chinese polygel and it wasn't good. So I just wonder if they are all like that. So this one comes in a jar and the color looks good actually. Well, we'll see. And as you notice, there are no seal, which is also not very good, but it was pretty cheap. I will write down all the prices in the US dollars so you can have an idea of what price range we have here. And this is another one. I like that it's only 10 milliliters. So this is like a small sample you can try. And this is also a cover pink. Oh, it's pretty light but yeah I definitely need to try it on the nails and we'll share the results with you. I brought several acrylic brushes because they are pretty cheap and recently I discovered Max Estrada's advice. I tried to use acrylic brush for polygel and actually it worked pretty good but after working with acrylic brush in the alcohol it got ruined pretty fast so i didn't feel like using my nsi or you know other brushes so i just bought some of these cheap ones to work with that and also i discovered this i never tried this so this is check this out it looks like acrylic brush i mean it's the shape of acrylic brush but it's synthetic i mean wow i think this is also kind of cool so i bought only one just to try it and if it will work out, maybe, who knows, this is going to be a nice brush for polygel as well. Also, I bought some stickers and, oh my god, this really broke my heart. Like, I bought almost, almost the same stickers. They're really close in Taiwan for 10 US dollars. And here, they're only 50 cents. So yeah, I bought this one with numbers, with letters, so you can write down any kind of stuff that you want. On your nails. I also have this matte top coat. I honestly don't like this brand Vogue Nails. Uh, it's I just I don't like it. I, I don't like anything about this brand except for this matte top coat. This is simply gorgeous. Even though it cures only in the UV light, it still gives this beautiful mattified look. I just love it. I used to work with dual forms, but for some reason I couldn't find them, so I bought another ones so now i have two kinds so these ones are smooth and these ones have lines so you can measure the length or even do the smile line so i really feel excited about trying them with polygel because i haven't tried them yet i tried them with acrylic with gel it's pretty good but i'm really wondering what's going to happen when they will work together with a polygel even though i have thousands of different kind of nail art accessories I happen not to have silver triangles and couple of stuff I didn't really buy so this is the OPA file and this lady she didn't have change 
So she gave me this file instead of change, which is um, 50 US cents. Instead of the change, I got pretty useful stuff. I was like, hey, give me this one instead of another file. So this is like a palette to mix colors and gel. And this is so cool. It's just the plastic stuff. But as you can see here, they have lines. So you don't even have to cut them with the scissors. I mean, when you're done mixing glitter, gel or whatever you need, you just simply separate it and throw it away. I think this is kind of cool. So I'm definitely gonna use it for my nail art. Almost forgot, I also bought this thing I was dreaming of. So this is like a container to keep this kind of design. So basically it's like a big box with the plastic stuff in it and you can pick out any design to show it to your clients, to display, because I always had troubles displaying this kind of flat tips because I don't know, none of the setting I didn't like. And here you can place up to 50 designs. You probably recognize some of them. I was showing them earlier in my videos. When you're done, simply close the box and they will stay there safe. Thank you for joining me through my nail art shopping experience in Moscow. If you would like to see some of these products in action, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.